Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel IT Bro. You can watch it for a strong lay foundation of information technology and promises you to give you conceptual knowledge in computer. Keep watching in for latest videos. Time to time I will come for with the latest video in computer. Thank you. Hello students. Today we will learn about working with styles and objects in MS Word. A style is a predefined combination of formatting features, font style, color, and size of text that you can apply to the selected text in a document to quickly change its appearance. When you apply a style, you apply a group of formats together in one simple task. To format the title, welcome to the world of style. As 18 point font size, arial and central line, we would be requiring three steps. You can achieve the same result in one step by applying the title style. By default, the text you would type in a new document is based on the normal style. Besides normal style, Word provides many inbuilt styles. Students, note that we can view the styles window by using Alt plus Control plus Shift plus S combination. You can also create and edit your own styles. Styles are of two types. A character style affects the selected text within a paragraph. A paragraph style controls all aspects of a paragraph's appearance, such as text alignment, tab stops, line spacing, borders, and can include character formatting. Students, before we move further, can you quickly recall the difference between character style and paragraph style? Okay, students, now we will talk about applying built-in styles. To change the style of text, you can apply an existing style known as a built-in style. Select the text to which we have to apply style. However, the mouse over each style to see a live preview in the document. Click the more drop-down arrow to see the additional styles. Click on the Styles dialog box launcher button in the Styles group on the Home tab. It displays the list of built-in styles. Choose the style heading 1. Observe the change in the appearance of the text. Students, note that we can apply a style set by clicking on Change Style button in the Styles group. Select Style Set option from the pop-up window and choose the style. The change is reflected in the entire document. Let me tell you how to create a new style. Select the text and click on the style dialog box launcher in the style scripts on the home tab. This opens the styles task pane. Click on the new style button located at the bottom of the window. The create new style from formatting dialog box will appear on the screen. Type the style name in the name text box and apply the formatting effects under formatting section and click on OK. Select the option button new documents based on this template so that style will be available to use in all your documents. Click OK. The new style will appear in the list. Students, note the fact that a theme is a set of formatting choices that can be applied to an entire document, which includes theme, color, fonts, and effects. Let us learn about inserting word art. The word art feature allows you to create special text effects. It gives a unique look to the text. Using word art, you can create decorative effects such as curved, wavy, shadowed, three-dimensional, etc. Click the Insert tab. Select the word art button in the text group. Select a word art style. The Edit word art text box appears with a selected placeholder text. To type the text to format, use the font option. Change the formatting effects like font, font size, bold and italic. Click on OK. You will find a few beautiful change in the text. Let me tell you about editing or deleting word art text. Select the word art text. The format tab appears automatically. Click the edit text button in the text group. 
Then edit or delete the text in edit word art text box and click OK. OK students, let us discuss creation of a text box. A text box is a placeholder where you can enter text. You can use text box to manipulate text and give new graphical effects. You can move the text box along with its contents anywhere in the document. OK students, you can give a cover page to your document by clicking on insert tab then go to cover page option. Similarly, you can add sidebar strip in your document by clicking on insert tab then go to text box option. Now I will tell you how to create text box. Select the insert tab. Click the text box button in the text group. Select the draw text box option located at the bottom of the built-in drop-down menu. Drag the crosshair symbol in the window. You will get a text box with the insertion point inside it. You can resize the text box by dragging its handles. Type the text. It automatically adjusts and shifts to the next line with respect to the box area. Students, note the fact that to change text box style, select the text box. The format tab appears with text box tools. Click the more drop down arrow in the text box style group to display more style options. Move the cursor over the styles and click any style to select it. Let me now tell you about working with shapes. The shapes is a drawing feature that helps you to draw different shapes like stars, banners, callouts, connectors, etc. With the help of these shapes, you can draw attention and provide impact to your message. To insert shape, follow these steps. Click on the shapes button in the illustrations group on the insert tab. A pop-up menu displays various options like lines, basic shapes, block arrows, flowchart, callouts, stars and banners, etc. Point to basic shapes and click on the smiley face. To insert a shape in the document, drag the plus crosshair symbol on the working area. The format tab appears when you draw the shape. Select any shape style from the displayed list in the shape styles group. Click on more drop down menu to select option from more shape style list. Students, let me share an interesting tip with you. To maintain the height and width ratio of a shape, hold down the shift key while you drag the shape. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos. And if you will like this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you. Thank you very much.